everyone, so today I'm coming to you with a first impressions and this is a product that I haven't seen everybody um, review. It's pretty new and it was really hard for me to find. Um, I've seen a few people like um, Love Melissa Michelle review it and things like that, but not everyone has. So, um, what it is, is the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Foundation. It's the stick foundation. Now, I got two shades. I got 230 and 220. Um, typically because I put the darker shade around the ends of my face, the lighter shade in my, you know, in the inside of my face. Oh, also I got my nails redone. Super cute. They remind me of Lime Crime. Like, look at this. Doesn't this just remind you? Anywho, so um, I'm going to start off with a primer because I feel like in the past I've reviewed products without concealer and primer and I don't think it's fair because regardless of the product, I would always use a primer regardless of what the product says it does for you. And this one doesn't really say much it just says that it's shine free and I thought what better time to do this first impression than when I'm breaking out as much as I am I am not on my lady cycle so I do not know why I've broken out the way that I have but I have oh and I'm feeling bumpy down there on my chin I have a lot of acne scarring Okay, so the whole gist of this is that it is in a stick form and it's shine free. That's the whole shebang. Um, if I could open it. So what it looks like is there's foundation in the middle. I mean there's foundation around the edges and in the middle it's powder. So you're supposed to end up with a very powdery finish. Mm. So let's see how it goes. Typically, how I start is I put the darker shades. So I'll be putting 230 around the outer part of my face. Okay, and right away, stick foundations typically feel so dry and gross and for this having powder in it it feels super soft so that's awesome oh my gosh honestly I can say I did not expect that the texture to be this awesome so I probably put way too much because I forgot what I was doing and so I'll be taking my Sigma F80 brush and start buffing it out and I definitely put way too much because when you're using a stick foundation you forget that it's still pretty creamy and you don't have to cover your whole face in a stick with using the stick Okay, so it is so, so, so creamy. I'm just buffing it all out. I think I did a fairly good job picking the shade. It's definitely light, um, medium coverage. Not what I'm used to, especially with all those breakouts on my forehead. I have such oily skin, I feel like it's not mattifying the way that I'd like it to. Okay, so I think I'm good with blending. Um, so I'm going to apply my concealer, you know, as usual. 
Hmm. And this looks white, I know. And then I'm taking my F86 to blend that out a bit. Okay, so what I'm noticing is since there is powder in that foundation, applying a liquid or cream product over it is not the best idea. So I'm going to finish my makeup put my bronzer, blush, you know, and everything, and I will be back. Right now it is 8.30, so I will come back to you. Um, around 11.20 I have to leave. I have some work stuff to get done, so I will show it before I leave, and I'll show it when I get back, and then I'll show it at the end of the night. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this, and stay tuned if you'd like to see how it looks in a little while. Okay guys, so it's 10.50 a.m. I have not left for work yet. I will be leaving in less than an hour, actually in about 30 minutes. Um, what I've been seeing is it's been holding up really, really nice. Also, I did powder my face, and I do think that even though the product has powder in it, if I was not to powder my face it would be a definite mess it probably would have smeared while touching it and it probably would have been not a good time so powdering my face was probably a must um i will check back when i get back from work and i will also check back when i am about to go to bed so this is how it is and i'll see you guys in a little bit okay so it is now 5.43. I have taken a nap. It is 113 degrees outside and it has held up pretty, pretty, pretty well. So, yeah, it's held up pretty good. I mean, if it can hold up um, Arizona heat that means it is pretty good stuff so I mean they're spotting and I slept and I, I was sweating in my sleep because it's so hot so I mean it's a pretty good job honestly so I can say that I do recommend this product and I will not be returning it so until next time love you guys and thank you so much for watching